Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting project to showcase a mesmerizing three-digit seven-segment display and a touch sensor-based counter powered by the cutting-edge ESP IDA framework. If you have been craving an innovative and interactive way to display and count data, this is the video for you. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty of this project, let's briefly discuss what makes it truly exceptional. The ESP IDF is a robust and powerful platform allowing us to harness the full potential of ESP32. With its advanced features and libraries, we can easily integrate touch sensor and seven segment display to create something extraordinary. A goal for this project is to build a sleek and efficient counter that can tele events or display any numeric data on a captivating three digit seven segment display. What sets this apart is the intuitive touch sensor interface enabling users to interact seamlessly with the counter. Whether you want to keep track of scores, counts or anything else, this device has you covered. Let's take a look at the hardware component that makes this magic possible. Of course, we have the trusty ESP32 board, the heart of a project. Additionally, we will use a high quality three digit seven segment display perfect for showcasing numbers with utmost clarity. To add the touch functionality, we will integrate touch sensor into the design. Lastly, a reliable power supply will keep our creation up and running. In this section, we will delve into the circuit design. We will guide you through the connections between the ESP32, the three digit seven segment display and the touch sensor. Fear not as we will provide you with a clear and concise schematic diagram, making it a breeze to follow along. So everyone, you can see here is a connection of a three digit seven segment display, touch sensor and ESP32. So here is the uh, three digit seven segment display and this is your ESP32. And here if you will notice that uh, we have a connection made over here, right? So that sensor is here, which is connected to like pin number uh, D23 or you can say the GPIO pin uh, 23, right? And similarly, we have made the connections and uh, I will tell you the pin outs like uh, where we are actually connecting them, like while we'll do the coding stuff. So these are all the connections and uh, I make the connections somewhere like uh, from here to here directly and some are like from here like uh, to this, right? So in this way, I make the connections. So this is uh, all about this. All right, so now let's understand about the coding stuff and everything, right? So now you guys can see on your screen that we have uh, the coding over here and it's a Git repository, which I will definitely share with you and I'll add the link in the description so you can check there. So this is a code with me, right? So you can download from here, right? Now, uh, I already have it with me on my system. So let me go there and let me explain you everything like what we have in this project and what exactly we are doing over here. So let's see that. All right, so this is a project over here, which uh, I'm working with, right? So over here, you can see this is the coding stuff, right? In which we have the complete code written over here. Now, let me tell you what exactly I'll be doing in here and what exactly I have done over here, right? And first of all, I hope you guys have already understood that we are going to work with a touch sensor and uh, the three digit seven segment display, which will be controlled completely uh, with respect to the ESP32. So basically what exactly we are doing here is that we have a seven segment display, basically a three digit seven segment display. And now how does that work basically? So what happens is just like a single digit seven segment display in there, you will be having like one common uh, pin of your seven segment and rest of the pins you will be having like from a b c d e f g and dot so in this way you have the pins now same way like we will be having the data over here right but this time we have a seven segment display which is of three digits now in this what happens is we will have all the same pins like a to g and uh, dp pin right for uh, displaying the number and three other pins we will be having for selecting that on which pin or on which seven segment you basically have to display your number right so this is what exactly we will be doing and for that 
you can see that I have simply set up that these are the pinouts which I will be using. So I'm only taking the data from A to G so that I can only display the numbers without any dot. So that's what I'm doing right now. So these are the pins with me which I have set up and in the similar way like I have made the connections. So it's just like this is A. All right, so everyone, you can see I have simply written uh, that uh, which pin is connected to which character, right? So in seven segment, we have the LEDs in this way, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? I'm not including that dot. So that's why I haven't mentioned that. So these are the pins which I have connected to the seven segment. Now, these are the pins which I have connected with my seven segment uh, extra pins. Basically, those extra pins are that which digit you're going to select. Let's say this one is for digit one. So it's like digit 1 is connected to 32, digit 2 is connected to 21, digit 3 is connected to uh, pin number 19. So in this way, I have made the connections. Now basically, it's like you will be displaying the data in such a way that you will be uh, like displaying the data first on the first digit and second digit and third digit. And the process is executed so fast that we will not be able to uh, make a difference or will not be able to differentiate whether we are doing it uh, one by one or everything is happening at once. So basically the concept which I'm talking right now is called as POV, which is your persistence of vision. So basically what happens is when you do the same thing like for a uh, like time period and if you're doing it slowly, then your eyes will be able to catch that. But if you do it very fast, in that case what happens is that that image will stay on that particular position wherever you have that number or in wherever you have that object right so it stays on that location for a very small time period and that is the benefit and this is the main advantage which we are taking over here right so for that we will simply use this concept and we will be able to simply display the data very fast and it will looks like to our eyes that it is happening very slowly and everything is steady so it will seems like that right so this is the way like how this is going to happen and next you can see that this is the uh, digits like what digit i'm going to display 0 1 2 3 up to 9 so in this way i'm going to display that and now after that i make the logic over here uh, depending on like what exactly i want to do right so i made a function separately and this is the main function if, in which i have my code so this is the main function in which I have simply uh, set the connections. I have simply set up that what exactly I want to do. This is basically just to define that how I'm going to use the pins, which pin I'm going to use as an input, which pin I'm going to use as an output. So basically pin number 23, which I'm using right here is going to be connected to your touch sensor, which is your input data, right? So which we will be reading over there and rest of the pins are your output data, or you can say your GPR pins will be defined as an output pin. And that is what I have set over here. And I don't want to do it like manually one by one. So that's the reason I have simply set it uh, in this logic form, right? So in this way, it will be doing it for like everything right and uh, after that like over here just like we have seen in our previous video where I use the single digit seven segment display so there I have simply shown you like how do we do this right so it's like this is the first condition where we are checking that whether the state of your button or the state of your touch sensor is high if the state of the touch sensor is high that simply means that we have to increment the number right so you can see that i have set up or i have initialized a counter over here which is with the name count and the initial value is zero so every time when you will touch that touch sensor what will happen is it, it will increment the value and that number will be incremented so whatever is that number if it is like from zero to nine it can be displayed on a single digit but if the number is like of two digit we need a two digit if the number is three digit then we need a three digit so this is the entire logic which I have made over here and uh, this is done so fast that it will look like that you are doing everything at once every digit is displayed at once so it will seems like that right uh, so this is the complete code I hope you guys have understood if you guys have any doubts in this then you can comment down in the comment section so I will read them out and I will uh, like reply you as soon as possible right so this is the complete code for that now the next process is that we have to simply upload our code now let's upload that and I, go, I hope you guys already know like how to do that because uh, you must have seen that in my previous videos as well. But it's okay, let me show you like how to do that. I'll simply open up the terminal, right? 
Now, before we do anything, let's do one thing. Let's connect our ESP32 to our system so that we will have the port specified and we can transfer the code or you can say we can flash the code into your ESP32. So this is what we have to do. So let me connect it. So it is connected to my system. You can see it is asking me to allow. So I'll allow this so that I will have the port, right? So we have that. Now uh, I'll simply write up the first command idf.py and build. So this will build the code. Okay, I'll have to jump inside. I'm not in the right directory. Let's build it. So you can see it's building and there was no error everything was fine so that's why i didn't get any error right so now you can see it's working perfectly now we can simply uh, like write the next command which is idf.py flash if you want to put the port number you can also specify the port number so right now i'm doing it directly right let's see do i have that or i have to type it okay i have it here so i'll write it and in fact here i have the uh, idf.build command again so I don't have to do it again okay so this is the command idf.py flash hyphen p and uh, the port number and monitor I'm doing monitor as well so that I can see anything happening on the monitor size as well but in our case we don't have anything so it's completely optional so if you want to put you can put or else I can leave it so let's run it now now you can see it's working now it's uploading the code all right so you can see the code is uploaded all right so you can see here that uh, my circuit is here everything is working fine and this is a three digit seven segment display and this is a touch sensor so let me press it so you can see the numbers are changing and this time you can see the digit is changed and it's like 20 23 so on in this way right so this is how it's happening i have given a delay in between so that's the reason you can see that uh, there is a slight uh, difference or let's say there is a slight uh, time in between uh, changing that number from one digit to another digit so this is what's happening here right now you can see the digit is changed and now this time it's three digit right this is how it's happening so you guys have seen that how does our ESP32 touch sensor and a three digit seven segment uh, display works and how do we make a counter with that right. So I hope you guys have already understood like how do we work with this and how does uh, everything is working right and this is the way like how it works. If you guys still have any doubts in any of the topic or in understanding anything just feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel also if you have liked this video do click on the like button and also you can share this video with everyone so that's all from my side for today see you in the next video till then bye bye and take care